Well, hi, my friends. It's so good to see you today. I was just outside in my front yard um, looking at the beautiful plants and flowers and seeing if I could find some insects. And guess what? I found some over here. <gasps> Look, there is my little insect. Uh, my insect window that we started last week. Here you can see my ladybugs on my window and my butterflies in my window. But you know, while I was out here and I was looking at my window, my window garden, it's missing some things. You know what it's missing? Well, it's missing flowers. The ladybugs like to eat aphids. And the aphids live on live on um, plants and flowers. <gasps> they don't have any aphids to eat. And butterflies drink nectar from flowers, but there's no flowers for them to drink nectar from. So I thought today, why don't we make some grass and some flowers to go with our garden window? What do you think? All right, well, come on, let's go inside, go into my office where I have all of my supplies and then we can make some grass and some um, flowers for our garden window. I'm gonna close the door because um, Mark's home and he's doing some work. So look here, I already made, I already made some right here, look. I made some grass, some grass and some flowers that I'm gonna add to my window garden. And I wanna show you how you can make some grass and some, and some flowers to add to your window garden if you started that, if you started one as well. Now, if you didn't, that's okay. Um, maybe you decided to hang your ladybug and your butterfly somewhere else in your house. Well, you could add the grass and the flowers there too. Or if you wanted to move it to the window, like me, you could do that too. Of course, if it's okay with your family. So, this is what we need to do our project. When I say go, I'm going to have you push pause on this video. And I'm going to have you um, go get your supplies. These are the things you're going to need. Number one, you're going to need two pieces of paper. Yeah, two, two pieces of paper. Let me move this away. Two pieces of paper, okay? One paper we're gonna use to make our grass, one paper we're gonna use to make our um, flowers, okay? So you need two pieces of paper. Then you also need some crayons or some colored pencils. And if you're using colored pencil pencils, make sure your green is sharp. Look, mine's not very sharp. I need to sharpen mine. So if you're using colored pencils, make sure that yours are, uh, your green especially is sharp because we're going to need a lot of green. Um, so get your colored pencils or your crayons or your markers, whatever you use. Then you're also going to need some scissors. And I have my big adult scissors. And actually today, I also have a pair of fancy scissors at my house. I have ones that make the cut like that. See how it's kind of like how we have at school, those fancy scissors. I have a pair of fancy scissors at my house. Um, I'm gonna use these to make the grass. Um, if you have a pair of fancy scissors and you wanna use those for your grass, you could get those. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just get regular scissors. And then of course, we're gonna need tape or glue. If you have tape, you can get tape. If you have your glue, get your glue. Today, I'm gonna to use my tape again. So, did you hear all those things? Two pieces of paper, your colored pencils, and um, your scissors and your tape. Go. Okay, did you get all of your things? Awesome. All right, so now what I have to do is I have to move my camera around. So, I'm gonna move my camera this way so you can see. All right. And the first, let me move it up a little bit. Come on, it's a little heavy, there we go. Now the first thing I want you to do 
is get your white paper, your first piece of white paper like this, okay? And actually the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna get that green colored pencil or crayon and you're gonna color the whole paper green. I already did mine on my other one like this. So you wanna shade the whole thing green, okay? Go, shade the whole thing green. Push pause and do that. Okay, did you shade it all green? Awesome. All right, so now what we have to do is this part's a little bit tricky, so if you wanna ask your family for a little help, you can. What you wanna do is take your green paper and you're gonna fold it in half the long way, okay? So it's like we've got a big um, hot dog bun. That's what you call it when you fold it this way. It's the hot dog way, because hot dogs are long. Your hot dog would go right in the middle here. So fold it the long way, the hot dog way, like this. Then you're gonna get your scissors. Now I'm gonna use my fancy scissors, but you can use um, whatever scissors that you have. And this is what you're gonna do. It's very um, clever. So where the fold is, this is my side with the fold, the fold being closest to your body. You're gonna take the where the fold is and all the way over at the edge, you're gonna start to snip your grass like this, watch. Snip, then I go back up and I snip. And I snip it right off, look. And there's my first little blade of grass. Then I come to this, this spot on the, on the um, fold again and I snip down and then I snip back up and I've got another blade of grass. And then I snip down, up, down, up. You can go ahead and start with me. Down, up. And what's happening here you can see is look, it's starting to make two, I'm gonna have two sets of grass when I'm all done here because we're cutting that fold right off. Down, snip, up. 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 Down, snip up. Oops, that one kind of got stuck and down, snip, up, down, snip, up, almost there, down, snip, up, one more, I think I'm just gonna snip this one down, down, <gasps> look, now, mine's all finished, if yours isn't all finished, push pause and keep snipping, go, Okay, you snipped all your grass off. Now look what happens when you take them apart. Ta-da! Now we have two sets of grass. So what I'm gonna do is put those um, right next to each other like this when I take them into my window. But we don't have the flowers yet. So what I want you to do with your grass, take your grass papers and just set them aside, okay? because we, we're gonna need them in a minute, but we don't need them yet. And then get your other piece of paper. Okay, here's my other piece of paper. And this is the paper that we're gonna use to draw our flowers. So what I want you to do is find your green. Okay, here's my green. And you want your paper to go the long way like this. And I'm gonna start right down here at the bottom and I'm gonna make some tall flowers. So, and I'm just gonna do it with my green, um, with my green colored pencil. So I, I'm not gonna use a, a, a writing pencil like this. I'm just gonna use this. And you can just use this too, or you, if you wanna use a writing pencil, you can use a writing pencil in case you make a mistake and then shade it in later. But um, the flowers aren't super tricky to make. So I'm just gonna use um, my green. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the bottom and I'm gonna go up, 
straight line up, almost to the top of my paper, but not all the way to the top. And then I'm gonna come back down and I'm gonna leave a little doorway and I'm gonna go up again. And this is gonna be my stem, okay? And then shade in your stem. Shade in your stem. Okay. Now, on flowers, they have leaves. So now on the side of the, the stem, about in the middle, I'm gonna make my leaf. And my leaf is just kind of like how we make ears on people at school. It goes out and curve back in like that. And then I'm gonna do one on the other side, out and curve back in, kind of like big ears. And then I'm just gonna shade those in. Okay. And then now, after you shade them in, now if you're still shading, push pause and keep shading your um, stem and leaves. If you're not, um, if you are all done, awesome. Now, the first flower I wanna make is a rose. So I'm gonna find like a um, red. And I'm gonna show you how to make a rose, but you can make a rose um, any color. Rose that there are yellow roses, there's red roses. Um, roses can be lots of colors. So I'm gonna do a red rose. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start kind of at the top of my paper. And then I'm gonna go down, oops, down, and I'm gonna touch the top of my stem and come back around to the top. Make like a big U, like that. Then, go ahead and do that, and then when you get to the top of your U up here, you're gonna close it. You're gonna go around, close it, and then you keep going and you make some swirls inside. Swirl, 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 like that. That's how I make a rose. So, that's how I make a rose. Um, and then shade it in. Shade it in. And you shade it all the way around. Shade it, shade it, shade it in. There we go. Now, if you're still shading yours, push pause and keep shading. There, my phone's wanting to die, so I just plugged it in. There you go. All right. So, now we need one rose. Okay, now I want to make another flower over here. So, get that green back out, and the first thing we have to do is make that stem. Up. Up and then shade it in. Okay. And this flower, I'm gonna show you how to make a tulip. Okay, so there's my stem. If you need to keep shading um, on your stem, push pause and keep going. Now let's make the leaves. Like those ears, curve out and come back in, curve out and come back in, and shade those in. My gosh, I can't even wait to put this on my window. I think it's gonna be so super cute. It's kind of like our walls at school when we do our bulletin board walls at school. We're making our home bulletin board in a window so all of our neighbors can enjoy it too. Awesome. Okay, so I finished my leaves. If you're still shading your leaves, keep going. All right. And now let's make the flower part. So I'm gonna do um, an orange tulip. 
So we do it the same way. I'm going to start kind of up at the top and I have to make that U. Okay. I hit the bottom of this or the bottom of my flower has to touch the stem like that. Make my U. And then I make little, um, kind of like when we made penguin feet. We go down, up, down, close it. It's kind of like a, a sort of looks like a penguin, a penguin's webbed foot, <laughs> but it's a flower. And then shade it in. I did an orange one, but you could do any color you want. Any color flowers you like. Now, we made two beautiful flowers. So now what we have to do is cut them out. And I'm gonna use my regular scissors this time. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them apart. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this one out first. I'm just gonna follow the line. Cut it out all the way around. Come back up all the way around the top of the flower. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut down the stem. Ta-da, I cut one out. Okay, put my paper away aside and cut out the other one. Gotta go down and up, down and up, and then back down to the stem, around the leaf, and down the stem. Okay, now I've got my two flowers cut out. If you're still cutting yours out, don't worry. Just keep, push pause and keep going. All right, now we've got both flowers cut out. Now we're gonna attach them to um, our grass. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna turn my blade of grass, my one of my grasses over to the back. And I'm gonna tape mine on the back like this. So I'm gonna set one there and I'm gonna set another one here. And then I'm gonna get a tape and I'm just gonna tape it right, oops, right over it like that. And I'm gonna do the other one, get a piece of tape, tape it right over it like that. And now we're done. And it's ready to be put on our window garden. Now, you do have that other piece of grass. So if you wanna make more flowers to go on that piece of grass, you can make more flowers. Now you know how to do it. So I'm gonna go attach my grass to my window. And um, in the next video, uh, in a couple of days, you'll get to see what mine looks like. Um, after you do yours, have your family take a picture of it, um, maybe with you standing next to it, and um, send it to me so I can see what your garden is look, your window garden is looking like. Okay. Bye friends.